Hey, it's Max here. In this video, I wanna explain you how you can make an engaging quiz. So why should you do that? So I already said it with the title, like an engaging quiz, like it is to engage your subscribers. Like they're in Messenger and there's maybe not so much to do there, you know, and some fun element like a quiz would be really, really good. So it's also a good way to get to know more about your subscribers. Like you can, for example, ask questions about your field of expertise and you can get to know how how much they actually know about that subject or what the skill level is so i for example have like a messenger marketing quiz and that tells me if people are like pros or if they're just starting out like just tells me a bit about what i should send afterwards like somebody would be really bad at that quiz i would send for example a cool a checklist or something about the chapel basics something like that but somebody that answered everything right I would invite for a more advanced tutorial, something like that. So how are we going to do this? So I think the quiz should not be too long, then people get bored easily. Uh, they can distract easily, they're on Facebook. So just keep it short. So create five to 10 questions. And those questions should be either informative, fun, or both. Like they should get something from it. So they should either be like, oh, this is really fun. Or they should be like, oh, cool, I learned something. So that's also what the next point is about is like, what's the question wrong or what's the question right? Or like the answer. Oh, great. Chase has like, what's the answer right or wrong? Cause I noticed that some other uh, bots that I was in and I was like, oh man, like I'm doing this quiz. It's really fun, but it's not telling me if, if it was wrong or right. It's only telling me in the end how, how, how well I did. So I think you should also explain uh, answered questions. If you, for example, ask like, what is this uh, animal? And then you have like a photo and then uh, it's it's a photo of chicken. I will show you that in a bit. And then somebody asks a cow and then it would be fun to like re reply like, hey, uh, in what world is this a, a cow in your eyes? You know, so something like that. I'll show you that in a bit. I already made a whole flow for you that I'm going to show you. So then we're also going to keep a total score. So we're going to create a, a number custom field and then every time they answer a question right, then we're going to do plus one. And at the end of the quiz, we're going to reward someone. Some, someone. So it's, it's cool, right? Like if you would do really well, then uh, it's cool if you get rewarded. And if you do really bad, then we're also going to reward that person to cheer that person up. So things that you're going to learn in this tutorial is how to use conditions for this. So if somebody did really well, then we're going to like say that like, Hey, whoa, you have all the questions, right? Or, um, when somebody did not so well, we're going to send a different message saying something else. And we're going to use the number custom field, uh, to like keep the score. So what I said earlier, so you will know at the end of this tutorial, how you can use that. So let's just get started with this. So I made this example flow already for you. So it's just a few questions. This is really dumb questions. It's really simple. Like what colors are minions? Uh, what is two plus two? Like those things like, don't look at the questions. It's just about the form, like about how this works. So in the beginning, I would ask like, Hey, are you ready for a little quiz? Like, don't just start a quiz with somebody like ask if they're having time for that. You can also say, okay, it's like five questions. It will only take two minutes. Uh, are, you, are you ready for some fun? Something like that. And when they say no, then you can say, okay, are you sure? It will only take two minutes. And then if somebody says like, nah, I'm sure I don't want to do it right now, then you can say, oh, no problem. And then maybe in a sequence, you can ask it later, uh, a few days, a few days later. So when they say, yes, I am, then we're just going to get started with the, with the quiz. And then we go to question one. So which colors, which color are most minions? Now, most minions are yellow. If they click this quick reply, so up, up here, up down there, you can put up to 11 quick replies. And if they click the right one, then we're going to reward them. And we're going to increase their score by one. You see that here. So what we have to do for that is we have to create a custom field so that we're able to do that. So let's go over here. So we're here at settings. Then we go to custom fields. And what you see here is I made a, a, a custom field called quiz score. 
and the type is a number. And that's very important. If you do text, then it's not going to work. If we do number, then we can make calculations in that custom field. So that's really cool. So just make that. You can do that here with the, with the, with the button. And then you give it a name. And then here you'll say it's a number. And then you'll go down and then click. And then it's done. And then when you're making your quiz, then you will see that there's an action that you can uh, assign numbers to those fields. So here with the first question, we have here set subscriber custom field. And then you have to select the custom field that you want to select, that you want to like manipulate. And then we're going to do an operation and we're going to increase the number by one. So every time they answer a question right, we will uh, increase the score by one. So in the end, if they had five out of five questions right, then we'll have a score of five. If they only have two questions right, we have a score of two. So then in the end, we can say like, hey, you had two out of five questions right, blah, blah, blah. So when they have a question right, then this will, will happen, this action. And then we're going to say, hey, that's correct. And then you can maybe explain why that is, or like what I said, like about educating people. And when they said uh, a wrong answer, then you should also say like, hey, that's wrong. The right answer was yellow. This keeps it fun to do that quiz. So you actually learn something from it. So then here we have another question, it works all the same, quick replies, right answers four, increase the quiz score by one. So we have here, custom field, quiz score, increase number by one. Like you also have decrease, uh, you can also give people minus points, for example, but for this example, we're just using the increase number by one. So that's the correct answer. And then here you see the chicken that I was already talking about in the, the, the earlier, like a few minutes ago. And then I said like, hey, what is this animal called? So that's actually really fun. If you add some images or videos or audio fragments or GIFs like in your quiz, this makes it a bit more interactive to add a few videos or images. So consider doing that. And then I have five answers here. The right answer is obviously chicken. And then we would go to increase by score one. But if people, give the wrong answer so all the other answers like a cow or a lion or a beetle or a worm then we get the wrong answer so with this one like if the answer cow lion or beetle then it would say that's wrong the right answer was chicken but when i say worm i was like what world does this look like a worm the right answer was a chicken so this all conditional content like you just give another answer based on another input so here I'll set like watch the video, let me know how often I said awesome. So there is no video here, but like here you can just add a, a video to to this quiz and then people can give an answer. So this is just an example where you can make it a bit more interactive. So we'll just go on and on and on. Every time they uh, have a good answer, they will increase their quiz score by one. So in the end, we have uh, two conditions. And before that, we are going to say like, hey, okay, there was the quiz. We want to know your results. Like, it's just a bit more conversational again. Like, you, you could just give the result or you can just ask for it. Like, hey, do you want to see the result? And if somebody says like, yes, tell me, then with a, with a condition, I'm going to give two different messages. So we have f four questions here. So it's just in this example. But if their quiz score was greater than three, so for example, if you would have 10 questions and you would have a score that is greater than six, so greater than means like seven, eight, nine, or 10, then you could say, good job, first name, you answered, and then the quiz score, so it's the custom field, out of five questions, correct. So that's just like a variable that we're using there. So if they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, uh, questions right, then it will be outputted there. And then we're going to say like, hey, out of that many questions are correct. And if somebody says like, uh, if somebody had like a bad score, then we're going to say like, well, you only had a quiz score uh, of like this, like five out of five or five out of 10, like something bad. And then we're going to say, hey, better next time. Oh, just something fun. And when somebody clicks, uh, no, I'm embarrassed. 
So it's just like all about having a conversation. And then we're going to check with the score again if the score was either bad or good. And then here, uh, for example, here, the, the, the result was really good. So then we would say, why, why would you be embarrassed? Like you had a quiz score of three out of five, which is really good. Good job. And then if somebody had a really bad uh, uh, answer, of like a really bad score, indeed, then it would say, like, oh, maybe it's better if I won't tell you. Something like that. And then here I have <clears throat> like the reward message. So in the end, I have some kind of reward. So you can either do a download there or uh, you can send something by them to emails and they can also capture their email address. Uh, stuff like that. So something that they probably want, you can put it there. So then with the good answers, I would answer with like to reward you, I want to give you a little gift. And the people who had the bad answer, or like really bad, who did the quiz really bad, I would say, to cheer you up, I want to give you a little gift. And as you see, in the end, it's just all the same. It's just fun. So this is how you make a quiz. You just ask some questions. You put the quick replies under it. Uh, just make sure that all the questions uh, that they are um, like either, uh, let me say, <laughs> that they're either informative, fun, or both. And you can put up to 11 questions in there. Uh, it's also sometimes fun when you add like, uh, I don't know, something like that. Then we would say here, oh, no worries. The correct answer was four. Right, and then we would continue. So this again, a little bit like conversations, which like, oh, I don't know. I can make a guess or I can just click, I don't know. So yeah, you can just use this to engage your audience. And it's also a great way that if somebody answered like 10 questions and then in the end you have like either a reward or something to cheer them up, it's likely if it's relevant to them that they want it, that they're going to click on that or that they're going to give their email address to you because they want it. So that's the tutorial about making quiz. As you see, actually is not too hard. I get really lots and lots of questions about quizzes, but it's just like, yeah, in the beginning, you ask for permission, then you have the questions with the quick replies. You just make sure that the right answer gets a point, the bad answers get some explanation and also that the question was wrong. Then you would just go automatically to the next question, people answer and over and over again. And then in the end, you're going to ask if they want their results. And of course they want that, so they're going to click it. So then would say, yes, tell me. And then it would say, hey, good job. You answered three out of five questions correct. To reward you, I want to give you a little gift. You can access uh, it by clicking the button below. So it's really cool, right? And we will talk.